Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. I'm back uh, in my own country now, reading in my own light-drenched um, room, uh, and I'm, I'm happy to be so, although I had a wonderful a wonderful trip. I went um, to the western part of New South Wales, which is the state that I live in, uh, we, who are uh, parts of that western part of the state are in drought, quite a severe drought. Um, as I uh, came back down through the centre of the state and back to where I am, um, of course, I started to see a little bit more hope and optimism with green fields and, and even some crops being uh, put in as well. So it's not all, it's patchy, uh, but certainly in the Western Division, there are a lot of farmers who have just destocked, bunkered down, really is the best way that I can describe it. But they are resilient people like the land that they live, live in. Um, okay, so it'll it'll bounce back it'll come back and there is always hope so uh i spent some time this morning um looking at the whistleblower's complaint looking at the various media coverage and looking at uh the trump transcript of his call with the ukrainian uh president which is quite interesting uh because it backs up the whistleblower's complaint um and I also asked my guides before I started what did I needed to see and I just saw this um, long roller that was going along a road and a person standing there with a with a rake and basically raking all the uh, the mess off the street trying to clean it up. Uh, so to me, uh, there is a huge effort going on now, or what that image was telling me, there's a huge effort going on now to hide or cover up um, so there would be even more that's being covered up now. So uh, that could also be what will bring Trump down. So let's have a look. I've got a series of questions. I really want to know, uh, a week after he spoke to the Ukrainian president, he uh, uh, also spoke with Vladimir Putin. Is that what I'm seeing that's being covered up? Uh, I want to know, did Russia stand to gain from Trump's attempt attempt to fabricate a corruption cam, uh, a, cor a corruption claim, not only on Joe Biden, but also CrowdStrike, which uh, he seemed to intimate was a Ukrainian um, organisation that investigated the DNC hack. Um, and of course, pointed, it, obviously, if you've read the Mueller report, that uh, that uh, found that Russia did the hacking, he seemed to think that this was a, CrowdStrike was a Ukrainian-based um, a, a based uh, organisation and that somehow Ukraine had interfered in the 2016 election. This is total fantasy. Um, CrowdStrike is an American company. As for Joe Biden's son, he joined the, boy, bo the board of the, that gas company in Ukraine two years after supposed wrongdoing and as for joe B joe biden's um uh supposed uh cover up trying to get the prosecutor sacked joe biden joined the eu and the international monetary fund who found that this pro prosecutor was allegedly corrupt and he joined calls there to uh to um call for this prosecutor's uh, removal because of the corruption along with the EU and the International Monetary Fund. So all part of cleaning up uh, the politics in Ukraine. So uh, what I'm feeling is that this is, again, Keystone Cops, that, they, that uh, Trump and uh, Giuliani, and I've got a question about for him too, um, are really trying to, uh, and Barr as well, uh, trying to, well, A, discredit the Mueller, the Mueller investigation um, and B, launch another of their supposed investigations into Democrat corruption. So this is purely, it's nonsensical, it's fairy tale stuff. It's, well, fairy tale stuff, yeah, perhaps the wicked, the wicked queen. Um, all right, so um, let's have a let's have a look. Uh, generally, from what I can gather from the media reports, um, Russian uh, Republicans are actually backing away from this president. Uh, some, of course, the inner circle um, are are trying to defend, and their defences are very flimsy. But other other Republicans, key Republicans, are actually uh, quite worried about what has occurred. More 
Most particularly, yes, there, there is this uh, Joe Biden fabrication or attempt to fabricate cor a corruption claim, but also the White House's actions in trying to cover up the whistleblower complaint. So let's get started. Um, clearly, the actions of desperate, desperate people and not very smart people because we now have Trump's transcript which backs up the whistleblower's campaign uh, claim. All right, so um, let me just get rid of this email that's come through. A long introduction there, but it's worth rounding up those facts. Did Russia stand to gain from Trump's attempt to fabricate a corruption claim? Uh, of course, as we know, that if they could prove that Russia didn't hack the DNC servers, then that somehow might go to sanctions. I saw that three of wands there in my previous readings. I felt that there was a, a commercial aspect of this, an overseas commerce, trade, etc. I do feel that's the lifting of the sanctions, which is still on Trump's agenda. So did uh, did Russia stand to gain by Trump's um, strong arming the Ukrainian president to fabricate co corruption claims, whether that's Biden or this supposed nonsensical crowd strike, which is an American company, did Russia uh, stand to gain? Was Trump trying to help his old friend Vlad, Vladimir Putin? What do we need to know about this? Okay, so we've got the Queen of Swords as the signifier card. This is uh, this is the law. This is the investigations. Uh, this is Pelosi as the signifier card. That's interesting. Straight out, the Democrats in the House have come out as the signifier card. I want to talk about truth um, also, but perhaps now's a good time because we also have the queen of wands uh this isn't even a challenge we've got two queens here we've got uh the investigation by the house now the impeachment inquiry uh and we've also got the queen of rods now the queen of wands as you know is congress itself so that is showing me that there is movement or could be movement uh by the Congress to uh, support in, uh, this impeachment inquiry, not just the Democrats, although the Democrats are slowly coming around. This is uh, generally my card for the Democrats, but I do feel some Republicans as well. And so, when we get this unity, we will have uh, we will have what what is needed uh, to go forward with um, with impeachment. So, of course, that goes up to the Republicans in the Senate um, and uh, even if they don't uh, hold the trial or don't convict or whatever, find uh, in favour of an impeachment, they'll all be on record uh, in relation to this truth. And this is what this Queen of Wands is telling me. This is a challenge for the Republicans and it is the truth. Sometimes um, you've got to fight for the truth. Sometimes it's just so blatantly in front of you, it, there's no ignoring it. And this is what these two cards are telling me. The Page of Pentacles, the uh, Page of Pentacles going fishing for something, dangling a line to that Ukrainian president. Uh, now, quid, quid pro quo, the uh, William Barr, we'll get to him, uh, his Justice Department, uh, through a hasty um, a hasty investigation of this, found that there was no quid pro, pro quo. Well, this card is seeming to suggest there was. Okay. And, of course, that is withholding the aid to Ukraine uh, that Congress had already approved in return for, to, for the political favours. Um, there's anxiety here, and this is, I feel it's not just anxiety in America, this is anxiety in the White House, okay. Uh, this is, I think, as I said, sometimes truth is just blatantly in front of you. The seven of rods in the future, are the. this is telling me the impeachment inquiry is actually going to be quite robust because this is Trump having to defend himself. Now, I could have had anything, this is in the, in the sky, a potential future 
Uh, this potential future for Trump is one of having to defend his actions. So he is not in the offensive, he is in the defensive. And in the immediate future, of course, we have judgment. I'm using my Anna K Tarot. And in this particular pack, we have uh, people coming out of the dark and walking toward the light. And that is a very profound uh, aspect of judgment where there is an inevitability that something has to come to an end, that the darkness has to come to an end and that the true light of information of the truth has to come forward. Now we see here, I'm just going to the yellows, <laughs> the yellows in this card, they're quite, uh, they're quite uh, bright um, and that's one of the reasons that I chose to, to use it uh, associated with the solar plexus chakra which is the getting of wisdom. Now when I just wanted, I said I wanted to talk about truth Sometimes truth, you have to work hard for it. Robert Mueller had to work hard for his truth um, and everyone that supported the Mueller report, the Mueller investigations. Uh, I heard it said uh, the other day or today actually that if uh, Mueller had access to this evidence, uh, it would have been a lay down the there. It would have been an open and shut case. But, of course, when uh, Mueller was investigating, Trump was a private citizen and uh, he didn't have access to the transcripts that um, the White House might keep or the records of Trump's dealings with foreign leaders. So, uh, again, you know, we go to this key, Keystone Cops, this Trump um, being so stupid as to conduct himself in this way. And why was he so stupid? To do it under the noses of intelligence analysts and other staff in the White House, potential whistleblowers because this is what he does it's second nature to him so let's keep going with the reading right now we've got loss um and this is i do feel for the republican party and trump this i've always said the whistleblower complaint is is extremely extremely serious and extremely significant and there is a truth here that they cannot bury that they cannot gaslight that they cannot sidestep uh, and that, and, you know, maybe that's dawning on them, though the environment around that this loss has created is, of course, the five of rods. The five of rods talks about division and arguments and putting obstacles in, in the way of something, um, which is what they're trying to do now. I do uh, also uh, have to mention that Trump has come out and basically called the people that in the White House that gave the information to the whistleblower, uh, he's likened them to spies and he's um, he's threat made a fairly serious threat about what do you do with spies, you know, you basically, they're treasonous and, you know, etc. I'll leave that to your imagination. He knows that there that this is the age now of the whistleblower. Okay. In the hopes and fears, the four of swords. This is a retreat card, but it's also a it's it can also denote illness. Now again we have to with Trump talking about crowd strike in Ukraine, which mystified the um the Ukrainian prosecutor CrowdStrike is an American company. Um, there are no DNC, DNC servers that, um, you know, that are lying dormant in U Ukraine, for example. There is a fear that Trump uh, is just, you know, uh, you know, this whole issue of his mental instability. Um, yeah, here we go, the Queen of Cups. Did uh, Russia uh, stand to gain? Um they certainly haven't gained. Uh, it's actually worse now. Um, and we've got this Queen of Cups situation, this su more supportive energy coming through. We thought that the whistleblower may have been a female. Uh, the press is referring to the whistleblower as a male. I don't think it matters, male or female, this whistleblower has been really blowing the lid off all of this. Did Russia stand to gain? Well, yes, they did with the Wheel of Fortune um, uh, appearing in this spread. 
the the way that they st stood to gain, I believe, is the lifting of sanctions, and we'll drill down. But, of course, uh, the tower. So rather than things getting better, the narrative that this uh, these outcome cards is, uh, are telling me, rather than things improving for Russia, the actual opposite has happened, has occurred. Um, all right, let's have a look at what's at the base of the pack. The Six of Pentacles, of course, uh, who, who, who is in whose debt and why. The Five of Swords, an abuse, a clear abuse of power. And we've got the Magician, did Russia stand to gain? And, of course, the Magician is associated with uh, dirty tricks, manipulation. If we go one, one more, we've got this Knight of... Um, Knight of Cups, this quick seduction that, that saw Trump take power. Um, and, of course, we, we know what the two, last two years has been have been like. Let's draw, drill down on that essential question with that page of pentacles there. Uh, did Russia expect the sanctions to be lifted? Did Russia expect... The sanctions to be lifted. Did Russia expect the sanctions to be lifted? Tell me about this page of pentacles, spirit. Tell me about the page of pentacles. Okay, let's have a look. Six of cups. So that's going back to the past, which is interesting. Money in the past. And we've got the king of pentacles, which is my card for Donald Trump, the businessman. Okay, so one more, uh, five of wand, wands, obstacles and challenges. So the way that I read that, uh, there is a money trail in the past uh, to do with Donald Trump, the businessman. Um, of course, we know the narrative there. Uh, what's on the bottom of the pack is the Queen of Wands. She, when she comes forward, you can expect <laughs> intuitively she's my victory card. Um, you can expect something pretty powerful, truth to come forward uh, and passion, inspiration that drives the truth as well. So um, it appears that uh, Russia stood to gain, um, the, but unfortunately rather than gaining, they've actually... Trump has made things worse. Um, let's have a look at what was in that Putin, what could have been in the Putin call. Okay, so let's move to the Spellcaster deck and we'll have a look at what could have been in the in the call because a week after he spoke to the Ukrainian president, um, he spoke to Vladimir Putin. So did Trump discuss what did what did Trump discuss with Vladimir Putin in that call? So soon after his threat, alleged threat, to the Ukrainian president, give me what I need to make a corruption claim against my political rival in return for the taxpayer money that Congress had allocated to you to protect you from Russia. What did Trump talk to Putin about? If he didn't talk to him about it in this call, has he communicated with Putin around this issue? What did Trump talk to Putin about? What did Trump talk to Putin about? So I'm hearing the word Russia. We spoke about Russia. What did Trump talk to Putin about? Russian interests is what I'm hearing. Okay, what did Trump, a week after the Ukrainian president, what did Trump talk to Putin about? What did Trump talk to Putin about? Oh, okay, so we've got the three of swords. So we've got loss. Loss is a signifier card. Challenged by income. Okay, new new income sources. Okay, so Russian interests, um, how uh, perhaps Russia could gain in some way and we, we this commerce trade aspect is something that hasn't come out yet and I wonder if it will because we've got secrets, the high priestess, um, at the base of the reading. What is the, the base of the reading? trying to keep secrets around new income sources. The Nine of Pentacles, so often associated with Donald Trump, um, this 
having enough money to be independent and self-sufficient. That's in the past. Now, uh, what we've got in the future, this is the retreat card. It's the loss card. There are a lot of loss cards here balanced with uh, income and trying to keep secrets. Juggling. Juggling manipulation uh, to do with new income sources. The Nine of Cups, wish fulfilment. I do feel that uh, this was what, what was promised to Vladimir Putin by the King of Pentacles, Donald Trump, the businessman. This had to do with Russian, keep, either if not restoring sanctions, uh, be, Russia benefiting in some other way. However, uh, look, it's, it's just heavy lifting, heavy lifting, and we've got death as the outcome card. It could have been, that's interesting, death, the ending of something, the ending of sanctions, the ending of sanctions, um, the fact that progress had been stalled on lifting the sanctions, and here we've got our page of pentacles. Remember that card in this other deck, in the Anna K Tarot, uh, going fishing for something. So I believe in some way the ending of sanctions could have been discussed. Uh, also being discussed could have been the lack of progress that Trump had made. Now, there would have been records of this call, so it would have been heavily coded. You know, it, it could have been something like, how can Russia benefit from X, Y, Z? Um because we've got uh, we've got we've got the narrative around Russian sanctions, or at least Russia profiting from something from commerce and trade. Um, territorial expansion was another another key intuition that I had in my early whistleblower um, uh, early whistleblower readings. What is what is the unseen energies? We've got the the six of Pentacles again loans and debts um, and this clearly keeps coming up in relation to the loans that Donald Trump has taken out in the past and we've got the Emperor card being in control or lack of control this is usually the president's um, the presidential card so um, or the dictator card so what I'm feeling in this narrative is that Putin could have even threatened Trump in code in some way why hasn't why have we still got sanctions why why are we still in this position um you know you were supposed to do xyz so um how that conversation went down i don't know whether that was uh intimated in that phone call there may have been other communications Jared Kushner has been uh, drawn into this in some way, I think I read. I haven't seen any media reports. Um, but my early readings on the whistleblower, um, I did feel Kushner may have been involved in some way. Um, now, maybe through uh, establishing back channels for Putin and Trump. To me, that reading suggested Putin was um, getting quite... Uh, uh, frustrated, annoyed, angry, perhaps even threatening Trump in some way. Will the <clears throat> are they trying to hide? We may as well ask: Are they trying to hide the trans? You know, will they try and cover up that uh, record of that call with uh, Putin? Will they try and cover up that uh, record with Putin? I know I'm a call uh, with Putin. I know I'm jumping ahead a bit, but I'm going to go there. Will the White House try and cover up Trump's call with Putin? There are no notes, remember? There are no records of uh, Trump's um, co uh, meetings uh, with Putin in um, only a translator. And and the, I think the late last meeting they had together, it was only the Russian translator. So... Um, uh, are we going, you know, are they going to try and cover up a record of that call with Putin? Are they going to try and cover up a record of that call with Putin? So we've got the Seven of Swords. So theft and betrayal is the, um, is a signifier card here. Uh, challenged by an abuse of power. Okay, so 
<laughs> wonderful, wonderful cards, aren't they? I'd say that tongue in cheek. We've got theft and betrayal. Are they going? Are they trying to going to cover up that call with Putin? Uh, theft and betrayal, abuse of power. The Knight of Pentacles, though, that is um, that is suggesting that there will be action taken in relation to um, something to do with income. Trump's income. This could be the pursuit. I'll just put it like that, the pursuit of his tax returns. The truth will out. Um, we've got the um, deep ace of swords in the past position suggesting that, they, that this has already been done. It's not will they, it's already been done. Okay, we've got uh, as the potential what's in the sky, we've got this nine of wands. And this is, again, the barriers that um, that are there. Uh, you know, you know, really to try and get to the truth. Um, although we have in the near future a, a, a six of swords, this is a, a moving through this situation um, and a plan in time. So it could be what I'm feeling is the Putin aspect of this will come out in time. The four of cups, the disappointment card, um, Let's keep going with this. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles. It's around the Trump organisation. It's around getting those financials. And we've got obscuring things, um, illusion and delusion, smoke screens, not being able to see clearly, not being able to make a, ch a choice. This is telling me that uh, communications have been covered up between Trump and Putin, that there is a high level of anxiety around this now. Uh, and uh, we've got heavy forces uh, weighing upon this situation. So there could be some record here somewhere of a, of a communication between Trump and Putin. Um, I'm just going to lay that out there uh, as just a uh, another way to look at this. We've got the Ten of Wands uh, carrying heavy loads. Somebody could misstep. We've got the chariot suggesting that things will come forward very quickly for uh, in the best interests of the American voter. Um, so Putin seems to be front and centre in this Ukrainian um, cri constitutional crisis, uh, unfolding um, the basis of the impeachment inquiry. But I do feel that... Um, there could have been some attempt to cover up some something that Trump has said to Putin because I do feel that uh, Trump is, um, yes, he's always used to doing business this way, but I do feel mentally uh, he is very unstable and likely to make mistakes. So, um, We'll, you know, there could be more whistleblowers. That could be where that threat was aimed, uh, as well as the Ukrainian uh, crisis. Are we going to hear more about Trump's communication with Putin? Are we going to hear more about Trump's communications generally with Putin? Are we going to find out what they talked about? Just three cards. We've got uh, the devil, uh, greed and avarice. Of course, we know that. We've got you owe me loans and debts, the six of pentacles, and we've got the three of cups, three uh, three parties. That's interesting. Are we going to hear more? Yes, no. There is a loss there for the devil. Um, we've got obstacles and challenges. I do feel that Putin's not happy with Trump. And we've got the Queen of Swords, which is my Nancy Pelosi investigator uh, card. So uh, I'm feeling that. Let's draw one more. Eight of Pentacles, the Mueller report. Mm, and the Knight of Pentacles, this investigation and action. Um. We could hear more uh, around Putin and Trump's um, Trump's communications. I think somehow that they might already be in some of that evidence uh, that is being held back uh, by William Barr. 
And I'm going to move to the second part of this reading. Will Giuliani be indicted? Is Barr in legal jeopardy over his attempt to cover up this whistleblower complaint? And how confident is Trump and the Republicans that they're going to win this one? So I'll close this down and we'll do part two shortly. Thank you all.